Hi, I'm Toby Wall from IBM. I'm going to introduce the concept of Infosphere streams to you using this pack of playing cards. So first of all, let's treat the deck of cards a little bit like a relational database. And the task in hand is to very simply count the red cards. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and so on. And I can go through the whole pack and come to the conclusion that in this case there are 26 red cards in this pack. So now let's look at the way InfoSphere Streams handles the same thing. What we're creating here are operators. So I'm going to first of all stand here and be operator number one, and my job is to very simply deal the cards. I have a very simple task, and I can do this at high speed, effectively in real time. It's not a batch process, it's working on the stream of data that's coming at you. So the 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 next task in streams is to write another operator. So I've moved position a little bit to show that I'm a second operator written independently and my job is to count the cards that the, the dealer is throwing onto the pile. And I'm looking for red cards. So there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and so on. And as I've got a simple task, I can count the red cards as an operator and just store that number. I can add in another operator. In this case, the operator is looking for black cards. So there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and so on. And the key point here is that you can add in operators onto a real-time flow of data without interrupting business. Um, you can also take into account the fact that uh, a new operator won't be able to look back through the pack. It's only counting the cards that are now coming at it. Unless, of course, you write an operator whose task is very straightforward, is to pick up all of the cards and to send the data off to store it somewhere, and that could be in a relational database, or it could be in Hadoop, for example. These things are all integrated. The business value of doing that is clearly be able to, uh, to, to count and analyze things operationally in real time, as opposed to having everything being uh, a SQL process, a batch process, if you like, running through the cards. Uh, the only other database context to think about here is if you have a brilliant memory and you can remember the order of all these cards, you would effectively be acting a little bit like an in-memory database where the knowledge is, is already there. So the query of how many picture cards, for example, is something you're already familiar with. There are 12 in a pack. So an in-memory database works in a different way. A Hadoop database would work in a way of breaking this deck into uh, the number of uh, MapReduce tasks that you want to. So for example, I've broken the, the deck into three. With three people, we could be counting the cards uh, and adding, the, adding our results in together to achieve a, a result using parallel processing. So there's a little bit of an introduction on streams, the way relational databases work, and Hadoop too. Hope you like that. Bye.